name's Tiffany. Everybody say hi. Hi, Tiffany. Hi. I'm 29 and I'm from South London. I live with my mum and my darling partner, Matt. My beautiful Matt. One day, I dreamed to have a little family with Matt. About a year ago, I had a lot of tummy pain and I lost a lot of weight, so I decided to go and see the doctor. Okay, I'm going in, guys. <laughs> One of the doctors came in and we spoke to him. And basically, it's not good. It's not good. On September the 13th, I was diagnosed with adenocarcinoma. The doctors found cancer in my rectum and colon. <laughs> I really don't get it. I didn't think I was going to get cancer, but I never ever thought about having kids as an issue. The doctors have suggested I start fertility treatment and freeze my eggs before chemo starts. It's basically two injections which stimulate egg growth. So on Wednesday they said I've got four eggs. And today I have seven. <laughs> oh. Well done, my darling. I'm proud of you. Okay, so we collected nine eggs. Oh, fantastic. Okay. I think there's one to go home and sleep now. It's going to be your okay. Going into medical day unit. Take a seat. I keep crying. I keep crying. I need to stop crying. <laughs> It's just so overwhelming. So this is the chemotherapy? Okay. My breathing feels weird, but it's okay. Oh. You know, there's days when I wake up and I don't feel like I have cancer. But today, I just felt really sad. I just felt really sad. It's really... I think this time it's really bad. <sighs> My head really kills. I'll take a bit of morphine, I think. Is it? Are you in there? It was really, really tough, but I got through chemo and now we're going to check to see how I'm doing. This is the formal reports. The MRI looks more closely at the bulk of the tumour. Um, I can give you copies of this camera. Oh, yes, please. Yeah. I've responded well to chemo, but they can't do surgery straight away, so they have to um, do the radiation. I think where I'm like, sad is because I didn't want to have radiation I just wanted to have surgery and have it removed and then that would be it but I just feel like it's just going to take a little bit longer now just for everything to be finished. When I got diagnosed I realised my whole life was going to change. Everything I planned and everything I wanted just felt like it was never going to happen. One in two of us will get cancer in our lifetime. Help us fight back. To give 30, 20 or 10 pounds, text 30, 20 or 10 to 70404 or donate online at channel4.com forward slash SU2C. 100% of the money you give will fund life-saving cancer research.